Hello, welcome to another short tutorial on how to use GDAL in Python. Today let's find out how to merge raster data. For this tutorial we are going to work with the outcome of my last video, where I used GDAL warp and a bit of Python code to split the digital elevation model that I've been working with a lot into nine equally sized smaller pieces which look like this, and these are nine individual GeoTIFF files that are located within my working directory. So let's work on putting all of these tiles back together. I will show you two ways to do this. One option would be to run GDAL merge as a subprocess, and the other would be to create a virtual raster from all those individual tiles, and then use GDAL translate to convert that to GeoTIFF. The second option is definitely better if you're working with really large datasets because GDAL merge will load all the tiles that we're trying to put back together into memory and depending on how much memory your computer has you might run into trouble. Anyhow, for both approaches we will need to provide a list of all the files that we want to merge, so let's get that first. To find all files that match a specific pattern, in this case dem some number some number tiff in a specific directory and put that into a list, we're going to use the glob module. So I'll import that. And then I want a list of my dm tiles. And in this list, I want all files that match the pattern that I just mentioned. For this, we're going to use glob glob and provide a pattern. So I said in this case it's dem some number from 0 to 9 again some number dot tiff okay let's print out this list and run everything and here we go a list with all nine dm files in there now gdal merge is a python script itself and there is no separate merge function in the gdal module as there is for gdal warp or gdal translate for example Therefore, we're going to use the subprocess module to run GDAL merge as if we would do from the command line. So let's create a command string. And of course, we need to call GDAL merge.py. And the only inputs we need to provide here really are an output file name and all the GeoTIFF files that we want to merge. Of course, there are still a bunch of different options that you can add if you want. One thing that we could do is to specify the pixel size, because as you might remember, cutting my DM into smaller pieces slightly changed that. So now I can make sure my merge DM has a resolution of 10 by 10 meters again. So GDAL merge, please let our output DM have a pixel size of 10 by 10 meters and call the output merged DM.tiff. All the rest of the tiles that we want to merge, we already have up here. So let's just import subprocess and execute our command with subprocess call. Then we're going to provide our command, but turn that into a list by splitting it wherever we have an empty space. So command split. And to that list, we can now simply add the second list that we have with all our DM files in there. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so the process is complete and let's check my working directory again. So now we have a new GeoTIFF file, mergedm.tiff. Let's have a short look at that. And it looks great. So here were our individual tiles and now they're merged back together again. So now let's talk about the second option to put all of these raster tiles back together, which is to build a virtual raster. Now, a virtual raster is a way to organize a bunch of existing datasets like these ones into one catalog, which just makes it a lot easier to process them and access them all at once. So let's build a virtual raster that is a mosaic of all of the DMs stored within our DM list. And to do that, we will use GDAL build VRT. So I'll create a new variable and then build VRT is included in the GDAL module, so we don't have to run it with a subprocess, but can execute it directly in here. And then what we have to provide is a destination name. So let's call that merged.vrt. This is not a new raster file, but instead an XML file that tells GDAL where all of these files are located, so we can access them all at once. So yeah, destination name, and of course we have to provide a list of datasets, which is our DM list. By the way, you definitely want to make sure that your input raster files have the same projection and same number of bands. If we run this, you can see we have now a new GDAL dataset up here. And from this GDAL dataset, which is our virtual raster, we can create a GeoTIFF file using GDAL translate. 
So GDAL translate. Let's call that merged dm two dot tith because we already have one up here. So this data set is our virtual raster. And here let's also specify the X and Y resolution to make sure that's 10 by 10 meters again. Also, if the datasets that you want to merge are really big, you might want to work with the creation options to compress your output GeoTIFF file a little bit. Finally, you still want to close the open GDAL dataset, so set that to none, and run everything. Check the working directory. So now we have the merge dm.tiff and merge dm2. So let's check out this one. Here it is. And you can see this also worked great. So here are our original tiles and now they are merged back together again using a virtual raster and translating that. All right, so that is it for this tutorial. As always, I will put the code in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you soon.